What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to maybe our final ever look at 60 Seconds. I'm your host, the Birdman Notice Falcon. We have covered this bad boy since pre release, a lot of the updates, a lot of DLCs, free content. Today, we're checking out what I think should be the final free update for the game. It adds Dolores as a playable character when you're running around doing the pickup stuff. It added a brand new item, it's called a harmonica. And more importantly, new events and new endings. So we're gonna check this out here so we could probably get a couple of new events and endings. More importantly, next month, we get the sequel, 60 Parsecs, which is all gonna be taking place in a rocket in space. And because of that, we now have a UFO outside. And over here, Teddy, no man, we're going with the, I mean, let's just be honest here. My top one MILF of all time, Dolores. I mean, let's be honest here. Dolores got it going on. Legs from here to whoo, never ending legs, man. Let's go into begin adventure. Alrighty, so in case this is brand new to you, um, we had to run around the house because bombs are dropping, pick up some items, put them into the um, shelter before the bombs drop. So here's the harmonica. I'm going to start with this over here because it's new. We'll also pick up the mask we're adding. It's a very important item. So please pick that up. Pick that up. There's a suitcase over there, which I would love, but unfortunately the suitcase takes up three spots, so that's all we can do for now. We'll have to come back. Where's my family at? My family is, I see husband. I don't see kids though. I don't see the kids. Let me bring the suitcase. Cannot carry that. It's way too big. The radio takes up two spots, so we have to come back. I see... Where the hell are the kids at? Ted, what you do with the kids? There's a gun right here. I guess we'll pick that up. Pick this up. Pick this up. Put it inside. Put it inside. Okay, keep running. Alrighty. I got... Oh, map. Map's very important. Oh, okay. Daughter's all the way over there. Where's the son at? Oh, I, I saw him now. I saw him right on the way back. Okay, we got we got limited time left. I do want to get all the family members in here because I'm not sure that's going to be important to this new thing that we're doing. So I definitely want to get all of them inside. Okay. Um, we're missing crucial items, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that's very important right there. Timbo? I, I was thinking of grabbing that food, but it seemed very risky. I don't want to risk it because I think we got everybody. We got the new item. We got some decent items, too. I don't... Oh, I don't get the radio. Please tell me. Look at that, Astro Citizen. That's from the new update, or the new game coming up next uh, month. Um, I didn't grab the radio. Please tell me there's a radio down here. Oh, there's no radio down here, you ding-donger. Alrighty, so this one, I think, went a little bit better. Now, the only things I'm missing here is going to be the lock, the flashlight. I think that's it. In case this is brand new to you, essentially, we have to keep them fed. And, you know, sated with a thirst for a significant amount of days before they die. Normally, I like to go with um, five days before I give them water. Anything over five days, they will die. So be careful that you don't forget. One of my biggest concerns in this game is that I always forget the important days. So I'm hoping I don't forget it this time around. Um, speaking of which, we have five bottles of water, nine food. So we have plenty of food. Water is very low. That's my only concern here. There's a harmonica right there. I can click on it and it makes noise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's for, but I guess we'll find out. Um, we also have different hats for my characters over here. I'm gonna make you Ranger Timmy. You're gonna be, um, I, I guess, um, Steampunk Mary Jane. You're gonna be, um, Russian Ted, apparently, or Winter Ted. And Dolores, you're gonna be taking flight pretty soon, because damn, baby, you hot. Alright, let's open this up here. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, while his companion was pretending to ride horse, to, to ride said horse. This is a uh, Monty Python um, angle, um, little story, quote unquote, thing that you could do. They claim to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they lost their way to the wasteland. Um, they asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. I'm not sure if there's a negative thing that could happen with this event. I think I've shown them the map in the past and they've ruined my map. I'm hoping that RNG doesn't really hate me too much and helping them gives me some sort of reward that it's not breaking or ripping my map up. My map's still in one piece, that's good. What did they do to me? Hey, they were happy and they gave me some free food. Okay, good. It is five days. All right, so now we have to give them water. Tomorrow they would die from dehydration, so we're good. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I got you guys, I got you. All right, so water. Um... You, excuse me, you, you and you. Um, we'll do food, maybe day six. I could, I think I could push it to seven, but then there's a higher risk of them getting sick. So we'll do six water. So we'll do five, 10, 15 water, 
6, 12, 18 food. In terms of days, anyway. And that's all good over here. The contamination of town is still strong. We're not gonna go outside yet. Um, there is nothing more annoying than silence and that we're sitting from the radio, no music. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, let's, um, see about getting this radio working over here. Apparently it's not working. Is it working now? I hear knocking. Like, there's a, there's a gentle rap, tap, 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 tap going on inside my, 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 my headphones right now. Well, we did what we could, but we still can't hear a thing, damn it. So the radio's not working yet. Uh, Mary Jean didn't cause any trouble today, that's good. Um, nothing else to report, good. Let's go and give these people some food here today. Next day. Still highly radioactive. Usually the radio will tell you when the contamination is down, so then we can go outside. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles, shall we play? No. There's a chance we could probably win and get two bottles of water, which would be great. But if we lose, the downside is too big. Two bottles of water, gone, we're only down to two. That's no good for four people, so yeah, we can't really risk it. It is high time we stop wondering what's going on and start asking questions, at least some of the reasonable answers. How about turning the radio station? All right. This might give us the event that the radi radiation's gone, so we could probably send our people out now. I think one of the events require um, one of the events I read about was like a car. Like you could probably find a car, and then like Ted gets drunk, and there's something about Dolores at a dining shop. I don't know. Uh, we were able to w get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement system. The fallout outside has mostly gone. Good. So we could go out now if we wanted to. Maybe we'll start going out, but for now we definitely have to give my people water. I think we'll feed them on day 12, and then we send somebody out. There's a phone ringing outside. When we answer the phone, we can clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduce themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Okay, so this will be the survivor event from Hill Valley. They are one of the good endings as well. Um, so they'll get back to us eventually. Alright, so it's time for us to go out. Terrible shape. No, nobody's in terrible shape, man. Relax. Alright, so who's gonna go outside? Very good question. Um, Timbo? Timbo, how you feeling, dog? You feeling good for this expedition, man? You better be, boy. Let's see here. Dehydration, thirsty, dehydration, dehydration. Dehydration, thirsty. Oh, Mary. Mary Jane's only thirsty in comparison to you guys who are dehydrated. Huh. I guess going to the radio helped her out a bit. Or, yeah, going to that phone call outside helped her out a bit. So, um, you are going out, buddy. What are you taking with you? That's a very good question. Um, I normally just go with the map to start off with. Um, we couldn't do the suitcase to carry more items with us, sure. But let's start off with a map. Nothing too crazy at the moment. Because if something were to happen, I don't necessarily want him um, losing every single item that we have there. So for now, I just go with the map. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be at this part of the wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? That could be just about anything. And honestly, I'm going to open it up because um, we're looking for new events. So I'm not sure. Maybe this will give us a new event. Maybe it won't. Maybe they'll steal everything that we have. We're getting some weird beeping noises. Well, nothing was stolen, at least it doesn't seem, so what was this about? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Ah, oh, it was damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. How dare they? Oh, we broke the radio. Well, that's very good. That's that's very good. Who did that? Who's the scumbag who did that? Flicker, I'm gonna flicker the lights on you. Sorry if you have... I don't necessarily want to cause any sort of epileptic seizure there. Apologies. I was trying to flash them, though, for breaking the freaking radio. So, uh, a sleazy-looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we get the bag and all of its contents. I mean, we could afford the food. We have eight of it. If it was water, I'd say no. Food? Let's see there, there's something good in this bag. Oh, is this the kitty cat event? Okay, it's the kitty cat event. So we've, we've done a couple of endings from the cat event. As a matter of fact, we did all of them, I think. Okay, so we got the kitty cat. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to affect the pancake event, but um, I know, it's been a while. I don't know how the quest lines go anymore. Remember that time Mary Jane went outside to scavenge supplies? Well, she didn't. She just went and picked up a phone. She got an illness up there. So for this one, we could use the hatchet to take care of it, although it's going to injure her. Or we could just straight up use the medkit. I guess we'll have to use the medkit. Um, chances are Timmy comes to go to medkit, or we could use the insecticide spray to get the medkit back. Not today, apparently. Oh, good! Ted got sick. 
Oh, that's because he's allergic to Sherikov, right. Ted's allergic to the cat. Oh, <laughs> why did I forget that part? Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. Remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a, a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join <gasps> Astral Citizen. This is definitely an event for a new one. Because it's going to tie us into the 60 Parsecs game. Um, he came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called the Astral Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. Yeah, uh, not water, but I don't mind giving you food if this will kind of give us some sort of, like, interesting event. Oh, Timmy's back too. Son, you didn't bring any water with you? Oh, but he brought a medkit. Okay, kid, I, I guess I'll, I'll forgive you, but water could have been really useful right now, dog. Let's send Ted out there. Um, let's play it a bit risky this time. Go ahead and take the suitcase with you. Take the map. And what could be good for you out there? <laughs> the harmonica? What if I need to go out with the harmonica for an event? You know what? Give it a go. Maybe you run into some sort of like traveling troupe of like, you know, musicians, and maybe the harmonica does something for us. I don't know. I don't know how to use the harmonica, so we'll give that a try. It's all about experimentation right now. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us that she was a traitor and eagerly showed the items she brought along. She offers the lockpick for the map. She offers a radio for the gun. You know what? I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. I need that radio ever some of Oh, Ted's back. Ted came back in a really terrible state here. Why, why couldn't you come back with a freaking gun, dude? That would have been like a free trade for us otherwise. Um, he brought back the... He lost the suit... You lost the harmonica too? Ted lost the suitcase with the harmonica. He brought the map back though. Oh, you scum of the earth. We got some food and two water. A bunch of radioastic dust got stuck inside our harmonica when we took it outside. What well, was fun, well it lasted. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken because we didn't use the harmonica for anything. It better not be needed for something else because I'm... I'm worried about that now. Um, let's just give everybody food and water today. And... On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed that some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town. Secret stash of soup? Maybe? I prefer water. Somebody should go check it out. Everybody's too tired for this, but, um... It could be good. So you know what? Teddy? You're the one who lost the harmonica and the suitcase, so you are going to be the one that I don't care about losing, because you failed me initially. We came back. What'd you find? One soup? I would have preferred some water, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, we got something out of it. Ted might be able to survive an expedition. I would say we don't do it just yet. Sherikov considers our shelter its home now. It might as well try to get along. We could try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet. Sherikov should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, an attempt to catch a cat could lead to an untimely dead. Should we try to play with him? No. If not playing with him, gets, have, have some leave. That's fine. Don't care too much. Nah, he's still there. He actually likes to be ignored. Although, are you telling me that now you're freaking, um, got the... Don't tell me you got the, the, the freaking allergy thing now, dude. Yeah, we, we ignored him. Um, Tad, what happened to you? Till it's very weak, he doesn't eat something, he might get really... Oh, he got sick from the hunger? He got sick from the hunger? Starvation. Thirsty. Fatigue. Thirsty. Fatigue. Why'd you get starved from? Oh, because you were out. Yeah. Cockroach alert, thankfully not here, but in our friend's camp. The place is all set and ready for moving, but the siblings came over today to tell us that they encountered a problem. They found a nest of mutated cockroaches right in the middle of the camp. And they would like to get rid of them before anybody moves in. They're asking if we have anything that could fight the, the creatures. Well, um, we only have an axe. You're, you're free to fight um, mutant cockroaches with an axe. Hopefully it works out for you. Hopefully. I'm not really sure. We gave the group the, what they wanted to get rid of the unwanted housemates. The insects are gone and their nest was destroyed. So they will have to need to find another camp to settle in. That camp better not be my bunker, man. Hopefully they would choose a bandit camp instead of bothering decent wastelanders like our friends. Yeah. Okay, so food, food, food. There we go. The crazy scientist visit us again. Sorry, scientist, but I ain't giving you my food because I don't care about your event. Timbo's back. Oh, Timbo back water to us too. Timmy! Timmy! My dog. Ah, he gave us two bottles of water. Very good. That's all you brought? That's fine, man. I just need your water to survive a bit longer. 
So now we have a chance to get these new events again. Now, Timby. <laughs> Timby. Um, hungry, tired, fatigued. Thirsty, fatigued. Thirsty, fatigued. So far, so good. Day 45. We've survived long enough, but I, I'm just... I'm looking for new events. I'd like to know how to trigger them. Um, if you guys know how to trigger them, let me know. I'll try to look it up myself afterwards, too. Hopefully we can do it then. So, um, today's gonna be definitely water day, so boom. 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 Boom, I said. And we were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it, and we heard someone knocking the door. Trader, he's very interested in ammunition. Well, I don't got a gun, so go ahead and take the ammo. Hopefully he gives us something good for that. Anything I could see here? Not really. what you give us? He gave me one soup for the ammo. Eh. Nutty Doc? Nope, sorry, Doctor, and giving you my food. You don't do anything crazy to me if I don't give you food, right? Because that'd be pretty terrible otherwise. Hopefully not. Alright, what do we got here? Finally, tell the weirdo to leave, leave the soup alone. Hey, Doctor! Leave a bunker alone. Um, dancing cockroaches. I don't think we have to use the Boy Scout. I think the cat should take care of the cockroaches. More importantly, yeah, she, the, the cat took care of them. That's why we heard them meow. Dolores is back. And it seems like she brought more water, too, and a flashlight this time. So, Sherikov to sort the cockroaches. Hey, good job, Sherikov. So, she brought back the map, which is good. We believe that our expedition in Wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. So, she was probably followed, it does seem. That's what I meant about going out too often. Um, we were about to come back empty-handed when we ran into a church. It looked like peaceful enough. Atomic bomb, church tower, the holy fission. That sounded really crazy. The cultists decided they won't be needing any holy water, so they gave us water. <laughs> it's apparently holy. Flashlight? Okay. Well, who needs what? Today's gonna be feeding day. So, I guess we'll give everybody some food today, even Dolores. Why not? So, food. Food. And look at that, our supplies are looking pretty good now when it comes to water. And food even. Oh, sorry. Forgot to give you food. Alright. Um, the army sorry Brock is again the requesting representative from the survivors villages. Uh Ted Boy, out you go. Be sure to represent us well. They for Ted, why is it that I can't have you go like three days without getting sick? It's the third time he's gotten sick this entire run. What are the odds? We made it to the meeting, the serious looking soldier asked us a few questions. Yeah, I made us some notes. We can only help us a good impression. Okay. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, um, we made a good impression there, but Ted is again sick, because that's all he does. He just gets sick over and over and over. Um, any day we would have got outside, eh. No. Because Ted's sick, and I want to have Mary Jean turn into immune. There's a chance to. Day 50. Alright, so today's going to be water day for a fact. Go to water day. Can I do water for everybody doing like a right click? Yes, I can. Good. I figured you could do that. We're doing click by click for no reason. Um, the last time we went on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank. Just sitting out there in the open. Shall we send someone to investigate him? Timbo! I'd send Ted, but I'm worried that him being sick might risk something here. Ted died. <laughs> Ted just died. That's fine. You're the reason why we lost the harmonica. I just haven't forgotten, buddy. I don't care. We got a rifle from the tank. That's all we got, huh? Alrighty. Um, what, what did he die of? I'm, I'm curious. Probably like food. It wasn't thirsty to give him more water, right? It was probably hunger. Um, Ted... Doesn't say anything about Ted. Oh, there we go. Um, he survived without food. You know what it is when you send them out, it just... I'm not sure exactly how many food levels it increases when it comes to hunger when you send them out. So that send out... Kind of like threw everything into like a flux here. Whatever. That's one less percent to feed. I still, I'm still salty about the suitcase and the, the harmonica. I ain't gonna lie to you. So that's all on him. Um, you guys are fine though, right? I can't have Dolores dying because then that'd be like game over. Hungry, tired, fatigue, fatigued, tired, fatigue. Um, we just give him water now, right? So the next feeding day should be like 54. 54. Uh, Mary Jean's feeling excellent. You know what, Mary Jean? You might wanna, I guess, go out. Someone either hates the door, or it's very determined that someone to answer. Should we open the door? Let's open it up. Is this a rescue? DN. Oh, we got rescued by our friends, but... Um, we, we got rescued one day after Ted died. One day after Ted died. And unfortunately, our harmonica event didn't really ever trigger. Or nothing new. Well, we got the Astral Citizen thing, but I'm not sure if we did the right thing. What, what did we do with the thing? We gave him, like, food? 
Hmm. Well, there you guys have it. Wheelie's got an ending, a good one. Even though Ted died, but at least we survived. The rest of the family did. Dolores survived, but you know what? She was the main character for this run. Because she's the one who got added for the um, little free content. If you guys want to check it out, it's free. It's a new content. Go ahead, give it a try. Um, and if you know about how to get the new stuff, let me know. I might give it another try afterwards. Otherwise, um, we'll wait until next month when 60 Parts comes out. And we'll definitely jump into that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.